Alright, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Making Beats Easy. The first thing I want to do is I want to talk about I want to talk about playing to the click track or the metronome. And and how this came about is as I was actually talking to my girl and she was she said something very interesting to me. She said she said, you have all this information. You know, why don't you start really putting out this information to help somebody else out? And and, act, and and at first, I really didn't think about it. I didn't think about it much. But it it dawned on me that, you know, if, if, if I didn't have the influences that I had when it came to producing or audio engineering, that I may have not... I may have not gotten started and I may have not had the start that I had or the passion that I've had. So, you know, I think that's actually one of those things where, you know, is, I guess, I guess I want to, I want to influence somebody the way that people influence me along the ways. So, um, <clears throat> and the reason why we're starting off with playing on the click track, because I want to make it as simple as possible starting out and I want you guys to grow along with me. So make sure that you hit that like button. Subscribe. Let me know what you want out of this uh, down in the comments below. And uh, you, you, can also check out my, you can also check out my website. You can hear my beats on there as well. And there's going to be a lot of updates on there as well. So that would be a good way for us to actually build together. So, okay. So what we're going to start with, I actually have Reason here. Reason is a great software and if you follow my Instagram, you will see that I've been having problems with my Native Instruments machine. So until I get that sorted out, I'm going to be using Reason. I've actually been having a lot of fun with Reason. So Reason, if you don't have a program now, I would suggest Fruity Loops. It's a great all-in-one software. You can actually get a lot done and has a lot of tools. And Fruity Loops, uh, Reason is a great software as well. And just like I said about Fruity Loops, it has a lot of tools where you can get things done. But I would suggest that you actually look on, uh, look, you know, look on, check out YouTube, check out some of the reviews, what you can do with either one. And also, I mean, check out Machine. Uh, I don't think that you have the same problem that I'm having. I'm not sure why I'm having it, but they actually have a, they actually have a great product as well with their software. So. Okay, so when we talk about the metronome, we're talking about the click. Like when you hear people saying, oh, I'm, pl I'm playing to a click track or something like that, we're referring to this right here. Okay, and, and as, you can, as you can hear, it's, it's just that four count, that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And all that does is it, it lets you know you know how fast the tempo is of the track because every four counts is going to be a bar so that way it kind of gives you that that mental okay now I have something to follow along because naturally I think if we're just playing you know if we're playing the drums without you know having you know no concept of of tempo or anything like that it would be really hard to make music you know, using loops because we wouldn't, it wouldn't perfectly line up. So we need something to kind of line up so we can actually make the base of the loops and lay them out into song format. So, um, the easiest way that I was explaining into it, explaining to a young man was I was letting him know, he said that he has such a problem with the metronome. He says it throws them off. So I was telling him to start off with the clap. The clap is usually on the third hit of the metronome or, or the click and we're going to count along with it so I can actually let you hear it. One, two, three, okay hold on for a second, my bad. Let me uh, see why my, let me check to see why my, uh... oh because I, I unplugged it earlier so my bad. So, so, 
so y'all have to excuse. This is having technical difficulties with my Akai Advance. I have, even though I have it listed as the MPK, they don't have the Advance on here. So there we go. All right, okay. Love the 808s, by the way. <laughs> All right, so, <clears throat> so, so we're gonna start off with the snare. So, like, if you got like a snare, a clap, or something like that, it's usually gonna hit on the third hit of the click or the metronome. We're gonna count with it: one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So. And that's going to be pretty standard. Once you get the basis of that, you can, you know, you can add to it. Like, I mean, just think about it. Because most people don't just, you know, it's not just, like, when you think about trap, they don't keep it that simple. Usually it's, you know, you know. But it, it all, it, you know, it all lines up on the grid. But for this tutorial, we're going to keep it simple because... I want you guys to be able to follow along in whatever program that you're using. So, so just remember that the click track is the guideline. So, we're going to do it. And as you'll hear, every third hit of the click is going to be where the snare is going. So... And next we have the hi-hats. We can actually go the same tempo as the hi-hats. But honestly, sometimes it kind of makes it feel draggy. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually speed that up to, you know, double the time of the metronome. So pretty much eighth notes instead of quarter notes. So, I know you probably heard my little, me clicking on my keyboard. Probably sound like I'm banging on the pads, but I guess it's just the sound of the pads. Next time I use the, the key. All right, so we're actually gonna use this, this 808 drum. As a matter of fact, no, we're not. We, let me um, let me grab a regular bass drum out of here. That way, we can actually um, let's just grab a yeah, we'll grab. The basic kick. So, all right. So, and usually, like I tell people, the kick is normally going to start off on the first hit. And after that, I mean, I would say start off simple if, if it doesn't come natural. And it, eventually it will. But usually, it's going to be on the first hit. So, we'll add that in. Oh, hold on for one second, my bad. Threw myself off. So, let me count with it. One, two, three, four, one, two. Wait, actually, it starts out on the one, but it starts out on the one, but it doesn't stay on the one. So. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to lay it down. And I'll make it simple as possible. Because I'm act I actually. I'm not sure how, you know, how consistent it is. I know the clap is usually on that third hit. But I know 
the kick can vary. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay it down so you can follow along with me. And I guess I had a double kick in there from, from before. Let's get that out of there. Did not mean to put that in there. But so and and then here's a here's a bit of a diagram of where we are. Okay. Let me change the grid to quarter notes. Okay, so it's pretty much like I was thinking. The kick is usually on that one and four, but one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's usually on that one and four, and the snare is usually on the three, as you can see. And you don't have to get technical like this, because honestly, I want you to do it to where you can feel it. You know, I want you to do it to where, like, you, f you, feel, you feel the music, not just be technical. I mean... Hopefully the technical aspects come when you, you know, when you actually doing what you, you know, you want to do. But I actually really want you to feel it. So, and I was just taking the velocity up, so don't, never mind that. But, uh, and as you can see, uh, these are quarter notes, but you see two hi-hats because we doubled up. We doubled the timing of those. So. So, okay, so if we added in, if we added in the 808 sound, it usually starts off on the one just like, you know, the kick. And we could actually go the same, you know, go with the same pattern as the kick. But as you hear in music, uh, people are pretty musical with the 808s. Like, they treat the 808 like, like almost like a bass line. So, but we're actually going to treat it like a kick in this scenario. And I added that extra note in there just for... So, as you can see, these fundamentals are pretty simple and let me see. well and I know you're thinking like that doesn't sound like anything that I hear on YouTube but once you start layering these sounds you'll actually get there So let's see here. So I mean, you know, it's really just it's it's gonna be your playground. It's gonna be your your playground when it comes to this. Um Actually, what I'll do is I'll let you hear how I started off this track right here. And it actually started from something really simple. And, and and don't and, and don't think that I'm I'm pushing you to having to learn all this. I'm, this is consider this bonus. Consider this bonus content. I'm actually just showing you how that you know layering sound by sound is usually what makes really good music. It's you know so so take your time and learn it. Feel feel the music and learn how to take what's in your head 
and implement it on the computer screen. So I'm actually just going to be adding sounds so you can actually hear where I went with this. So, as you can see, I actually was using the piano in there. I love the sound of that piano. But I don't want to get off track. So, <coughs> so, and the bass line that I had in here, I started off with, I'm actually going to have two. One is the 808, one is the bass line. I actually had it to, let me move this up here. I actually had it to complement this guy right here. The monotone. It's the first time I ever used this. That's why I said Reason is so cool because, you know, they, they have these racks. So it's pretty much like just gives you unlimited, you know, unlimited um, possibilities. So, so I added, I added this Dirty South sub in there just to back it up. So, this is it without without the. So it just pretty much just cre creates that that undertone bass line to thicken it up. So anytime you're getting overwhelmed with um with you know with the beats remember it's one sound at a time and the in the click track and matter of fact I actually turn the click on so you can actually hear you know that as example like even with me doing different things with the sounds going different rhythms it's still in line with this click So just keep in mind that click track is is just a guideline but what what you do within those guidelines is your creativity so i hope you guys enjoyed me actually explaining this uh well i i well i thought it was simple but so i don't want to sound like i'm you know making you know making you guys you know looking down on you guys because you didn't know but i hopefully hopefully i influence you guys to move forward with learning how to make music hopefully i shed some light on this guideline and what you can do between the guidelines and and i look forward to growing with you guys so like i said make sure you smash that like button make sure that you um make sure that you uh you subscribe you comment below what you want from this what you want from this video series and we're going to make it happen we're going to make sure that you know we're going to make sure that you guys grow into who you want to be musically. As far as to my ability, I want to make sure that you guys get to where you need to be. So, and like I said, if you're a rapper or a singer, or you actually just want to hear some of the beats that I've created to get an idea uh, on what I had to do that may spring a few questions. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Check out my website, uh, gotbetterbeats.com. It'll be in the description. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. So... <clears throat> Peace out.